Hey, what's up guys? It's Jonathan with Rev Free Moto and today is the big reveal. Today I'm going to reveal to you what new motorcycle uh, that I got and I'm very excited to show it to you. I wanted to go ahead and reveal the bike that I ended up with before teasing you guys along too much for anyone who really cares. Probably nobody does, but uh, I know that it was certainly a journey for me to try to find the, the right motorcycle, one that I would hang on to and one that I would not regret uh, purchasing. Um, ultimately, the Fat Boy was a wonderful motorcycle. You can go back to my last video that I did on it, um, just kind of going through how much I loved it and how much I really had a lot of problems with it too. It was really, um, I would say, bittersweet that I had to end up trading it in or I made that decision. Uh, I know I didn't have to do it, but ultimately it was causing more problems than causing me joy. And uh, it caused me joy to, to look at the Fat Boy uh 114 but at the end of the day uh, i'm doing more than just looking at it and so it's kind of like uh if if the looks is all it's got going for it then then perhaps it's time to move on so i don't want to waste any more of your time let's go ahead and reveal the new motorcycle and here she is the 2022 harley davidson lowrider st that i test rode this is one of the bikes that i did a test ride video on this motorcycle the reason that I decided to go with this before we get into the details on it is after I rode this, I really felt like this was just the perfect blend of, of motorcycle for me. Um, we have the bags on it and I think it's actually really cool that they're different sizes, that they're not symmetrical. I'm OCD normally about this kind of stuff, but I actually think it really adds to the unique quality of this motorcycle. You know what that's kind of function over fashion a little bit really let's go ahead and make this bag a little bit bigger because it gives a little bit more storage instead of making them both smaller to make them symmetrical so i like that um i really love the fact that this bike has a fairing but it's still minimalist and what i mean by that is we don't have you can get the rockford fosgate audio system that kind of drops down into this fairing but there is absolutely nothing else to this. You have a gauge and we can turn it on and, and I can show you that. Um, but really, there's not much to this fairing. It's, it's function. It's, it's minimalist. And I think that one of the things that really detracts from the riding experience with a lot of the tourers and the electric glide, ultra limited, um, the street glide, and bigger touring bikes, um, is that they come with all this stuff and all this stuff that glorifies the ride when it really what all you need is to be out here uh, enjoying the simplicity of the great outdoors and riding in it. So uh, that's one of the reasons that I really love this motorcycle. The fairing, the way that this thing is set up comes with mid controls, but you can move it to forward controls if you want. Uh, I actually dig the, the mid controls. Uh, not too long ago, I rented a Triumph uh, T120 Bonneville when I went to the beach, and uh, that had mid controls. And I really was liking how I was really able to control the motorcycle a lot more with that setup instead of forward controls. Forward controls, maybe long term, are more comfortable. I, I guess I'll have to find out. Already on putting a, a few miles on this motorcycle, I feel like uh, it, it is definitely a comfortable setup for me now i'm five ten and a half so i'm not like the tallest guy in the world i'm not the shortest guy in the world either kind of a median height um, but for me i'm not really feeling cramped on it i can reach the bars okay uh, and uh, I, I really feel like it's a it's a good fit for me i feel like if you're taller than six foot uh six one something like that this with the mid controls and without any other modifications this bike could probably get a little bit cramped for a taller rider but i do still think you could pull it off if you had uh, risers and maybe a seat that put you back a little bit so safety wise over the the bike that i used to have you know this bike has awesome stopping power with its dual disc front rotors slotted and uh, drilled or whatever that's called having two of these definitely makes it better stopping and it also has abs so that's helpful a lot of people change out the headlight on this motorcycle i'm i kind of like the looks of the stock headlight i did go ahead and switch these out i had these on the fat boy and i grabbed these off my fat boy 
uh, and and they said they didn't have any problem with me taking those off and so I just plopped these on here now I also have them for the rear on the fat boy I had them and they're not interchangeable so I'm gonna have to figure something out I've, I've got some ideas but this this is all the stock setup this giant billboard license plate is is stock um, I went ahead and grabbed my Willie G skull screws uh, for the license plate off of the fat boy and i also grabbed my willie g skull fuel tank cap medallion or whatever they call it i think it's a cool contrast with that so i really love the old school harley davidson logo on the tank i think that's a nice touch definitely the pipes we'll start it up real quick let me take my helmet off of it so that you guys so that it doesn't fall off and you guys get to laugh at me all right let's make sure it's in neutral all right, so there, there's your gauge, by the way, and um, all the uh, lights and stuff like that. But it really doesn't, it, sh it just kind of shows you what you need and everything you need and nothing you don't. Okay, so as you can hear, she needs some slip-ons or a two into one or something. So I'm working on that. Uh, that'll be uh, one of the first mods that I do to this bike for sure. Uh, but this also I did switch out recently. I just did this. I had made another video with the stock shield on it and I screwed up in the, the file. Uh, I lost the file. So this, uh, this is my second attempt at a reveal video, but uh, this clockwork shield is a replacement for the stock shield and i've actually got a video coming on on the comparison as well so the stock shield i actually thought was a really good looking shield but it was putting the wind right on at my eye level so if i opened my full face visor helmet uh it was coming right into the helmet and uh, this is an eight inch clockworks flare smoke windshield and i look way over it like it's not even a thing uh, but it's perfect as far as the it puts the wind right at the, uh, just over my helmet so um, i can open my visor up uh up to like 55 miles an hour and the wind doesn't shut it so it's great if you want a little bit of air on you um, on a hotter day and so other things i have planned for it um, probably not a whole lot of huge mods budget is real right but uh, i just this is a 2022 it was never sold it was a dealer demo uh, it had a, a couple of miles on it, so about 1,400 miles on it, but it is like it's got a brand new bike warranty that comes with it, and so um, I'm not stepping into this bike two years old with no warranty. It still has two years of warranty left on it, so if there's any issues with it, and uh, so I think that's kind of a good thing, but definitely very comforting to have that warranty. So let me know what you guys think. Um, who out there has got a Lowrider ST? Do you like this motorcycle? Do you think that uh, that it's a, a good bike over the Fat Boy? I know that it doesn't look the same. I know it doesn't have those classic looks of the Fat Boy. It doesn't have the steamroller stance, but this thing is so incredibly nimble and just set up for comfortable long rides. Uh, it has a little bit more power with the 117 Milwaukee 8 engine. Um, and so just, I'm not gonna keep blabbing on and on about it, but I'm really excited about it and I wanted to make sure that you guys saw what I got so that uh, you could be excited too, hopefully. Um, but uh, we'll be making some more videos with this bike, of course, and doing some rides with it, some topical videos, some mod videos, things like that. So I'd love to know your thoughts. I really uh, am crushing on the bike. It's different than anything I've ever had. I have had, this is the last thing that I'll say and then I'm gonna end the video. I've had a lot of bikes, a lot. I had sport bikes, I've had cruisers, I've had touring bikes, 
I've had an ultra limited electric glide. I've had a Road King. Um, I've had, of course, the Fat Boy. Those are the three Harleys that I've had. But I've also had a BMW GS Adventure. I've had lots of different cr cruisers like a Honda VTX C1300, like all these different bikes. And this one, I feel like by far, is just set up the best for simple control and long term comfort. So I may change my opinion, but so far, after putting a few miles on this thing, I haven't had it that long, obviously, but so far, I'm really loving the decision. So please subscribe to Rev Free Moto if you haven't subscribed yet. I'm so thankful for your subscription. And please like this video. It really helps me out. Um, I won't waste any more of your time, guys. I really appreciate you stopping by and watching this video and uh, following my journey here on Rev Free Moto. God bless, guys, and we'll see you in the next video.